This is going to be a good video. I think, at least I think it's going to help a lot of people. We're going to talk about DHT. We're going to talk about how it can affect your hair growth, how it can affect your facial hair growth and the implications around that. And I'll give you some strategies of how you can, you know, either use it to your advantage if you are looking for a beard or uh, maybe some strategies on how to lower it if you are looking for more hair on the top of your head. I also want to mention that I am going to be unboxing a premium men's grooming kit from Seven Potions at the end of this video. And I'm also going to be trying out one of my Aberlite combs again to uh, get this beard in order uh, to also, you know, represent these two companies, sending me awesome stuff and then going to be doing awesome giveaways with you guys as well. So stick around to the end and we'll do those. I, uh, let's get started right into the DHT talk. DHT stands for dihydrotestosterone, which is derived from testosterone. Years ago, people believed that DHT actually was the main contributing factor in hair loss and to actually prostate cancer. And there are still people that believe that today, but I think those myths have generally been defunct because there are actually a lot of good health benefits that go along with the DHT as well. One being that it is very beneficial if you want to maximize your beard growth. DHT is converted from testosterone via five alpha reductase, which means that it uh, is actually three times more potent than testosterone itself. And this can be bad for the hair on the top of your head because actually what ends up happening is those hair follicles that come out of your scalp start to shrink and your whole hair life cycle actually starts to shorten. And DHT can actually attach itself to these receptacles right at the hair, the base of the follicle, which ends up blocking a lot of nutrients that get to those hair follicles, which causes the hair loss and lack of nourishment. So from what I've read, you can actually buy DHT blockers if uh, having hair on the top of your head is extremely important to you. Although apparently there can be a lot of negative side effects for men who take these blockers in possibly worse areas. Libido. So you've essentially got two options. You can either go the route of accepting DHT, uh, having the top of your head be very cold in the winter because you're bald and uh, you know, but have thicker facial hair and more body hair all over. Or you can go the route of limiting the DHT uh, which is going to, again, reduce the amount of hair on your face, but promote more hair growth on the top of your head. So you've got to make that decision now. Which one is more important to you? Now, I probably fall into a small subset of the general population. And probably if you're watching this video and you love beards, you fall into the same category. But I value having a thicker, beastlier beard more so than I do having thick hair on the top of my head. Which means I want to promote DHT because I want this thing to be as big as possible. In order to promote your DHT levels, you can do a few different things. Number one is exercise. Exercise is super important because it uh, will up your testosterone levels and the more testosterone you have then the more production of DHT that will develop as well. It will also cause less testosterone to actually convert into estrogen. Things you might want to try avoiding are rosemary, lavender, tea tree, pumpkin seed, zinc, soy and rice bran. And this is kind of upsetting to me in some ways because a lot of beard companies use tea tree as, uh, as an oil in their bombs or in their oils you know when you're a beard oil which is kind of, you know, it's kind of on the fence. I really like it, it's one of my favorite scents when I use beard oil or some sort of beard product. I love tea tree. Um, so I'm assuming that probably a little bit is okay. You just don't want to overdo it. So you're probably asking yourself, is it possible to have a thick head of hair as well as a big thick beard? Well, yes, of course it's possible. A lot of people do. Uh, it really falls to your genetics. So of course it would be irresponsible for me to tell you that yes, you can change your genetics because you can't change your genetics. There are just a lot of things that you can do to maximize your hair growth uh, the best you can under the conditions that you know are set out for you. So obviously you're predetermined to, to have a certain length of hair, uh, thickness, it's gonna get thicker as you age um, and as you, you know give it time, it's gonna fill in more. If you wanna promote DHT production though, you can, as I said before, exercise more. You'll notice a lot of uh, a lot of big strong guys won't have a lot of hair on the top of their head because they have more DHT in their system. Uh, you might also want to eat healthy. So you're going to be, you know, focusing on more protein rich foods. You want to obviously, you know, this is just good general health information, but you know, you want to stay away from the junk food. Um, try to get your amino acids and your good fats and all that. So you want to focus on healthy eating. You're going to want to make sure that you're getting enough sleep. 
It even recommends on a website seven to 10 hours, which is not feasible for everybody, but the more sleep you have, the less stress you have, which is going to, uh, to raise that DH, uh, DHT level, testosterone production level. And you may also want to supplement it with different vitamins, uh, high quality vitamins, biotin and things like that in order to thicken your beard. Okay, so I hope that helped you guys understand DHT a little bit. Uh, so you, you've got the two different options. Where do you fall? Let me know in the description box down below. I am going to now unbox my seven potions grooming kit. I have been super stoked to try this out. I've actually got a few other products over here that I'm gonna show you guys in the near future as well. Um, as I mentioned, these guys are such a great company. I'm gonna be working with them more regularly. So you'll see them on my channel, super high quality stuff. And um, they are going to be holding some giveaways for you guys so that we can promote you know, beard stuff for everybody. So let's take a look at the box. This arrived in the mail in a big package for me. It says seven potions beard care kit. Box contains one beard oil, which is Woodland Harmony, one beard shampoo, 100 milliliters Woodland Harmony, which is perfect if you are traveling because you know that that is the limit, one times a beard brush and a 100% wild boar bristle. So you wanna make sure that you're using 100% authentic boar bristle brushes. And here we go. Okay, it comes with a little information package, so it will tell you exactly how to use your products, which is nice because, you know, often that's printed on your, your bottle, which is like microscopic, and this way you can read a little more easily. And here we have the beard oil. It's all natural and organic. It soothes, softens, and moisturizes. Again, it's a 30 milliliter bottle, and I'm not going to open this today. I'm going to save this for another video to review it with you guys. I've got their high quality... Pear, I believe it's pear wood, uh, seven potions, gentlemen's grooming essentials, more bristle brush. Really love this one. I have uh, the other model of this one already from a previous video. Very uh, firm bristles, exactly what you're looking for. Very nice, well built. And finally, we have the beard shampoo, Woodland Harmony beard shampoo all natural and organic again. So these are gonna be awesome things to try out. I'll be using these again in upcoming videos so that you guys can see them more often. And uh, you'll know that these are a very high quality brand, similar to say uh, some of your top competitors like Beard Brand and, and other ones. These are these are from the UK, much higher, higher price point, but you're getting higher quality ingredients. So let's test them out in a future video. And I also mentioned that I was gonna be taking a look at my Aberlite kit one last time here. I've taken a look at this in a previous video, but I love this company. They are going to be doing giveaways as well, as I mentioned. This one here is the Green Sandalwood Beard Brush and Comb Set. And I believe this will be maybe our first giveaway that we're gonna be organizing. I believe Aberlite is gonna be giving away at least 10 items in the future. So uh, hold, hold steady for that. Inside this kit, you're gonna get a nice pair of scissors, which is nice because most companies will not send you uh, scissors and stuff like that. Um, you're also gonna get a little handy keychain, high quality leather, happiness is stroking your beard. You're gonna get a little carrying pouch to put your sandalwood comb in, which is very small, compact, and fits in your pocket easily. And a super small, compact brush, which uh, is another really, really good one for on-the-go travel made of, uh, of real wood, real boar bristle brush. Really helps you volumize your beard, stimulate hair growth, all the nine yards, all the good things that go along with the boar bristle brush. And there you have it. So thanks very much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Before we go, I just want to say thank you for watching to the end of the video. I also want to give a big shout out to my patrons and the amazing companies next to me. It's thanks to their support that I can try out new products, hold giveaways, and continue making fun beard content. So if you're looking for high quality, unique products that are different from the rest, check them out in the description box. Thanks for watching.